Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be doing a video on the photos for the final two episodes of Supergirl, which are coming out next Tuesday, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, the series finale of Supergirl is airing next Tuesday, and it's going to be the final episode ever. Obviously, it's two episodes combined, so it's one big two-hour finale, essentially. So we're going to kick off with episode 19 and finish with episode 20. Episode 19 is titled The Last Gauntlet. Obviously, you can tell what that means. It's clear that they're going to go after The Last Gauntlet, and whoever is victorious is victorious. And the series finale is titled Kara. Obviously very fitting because it's about Kara, that's what the series is about. And it's not Supergirl, but what's her other name? Kara. So yeah, that's a great title. And those are the final two episodes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these photos. So we're going to be starting with the photos from episode 19, of course. The first photo we have is here. And you see Nixley and Esme, obviously. She's holding hands. This is a ransom. This is you know, them doing the standoff, and you can see in the next photo, you will see Kelly and Alex, and they walk up with, like, some sort of briefcase of sorts. It's very possible that they're doing kind of switcheroo, where, you know, they're gonna give Esme back, they've somehow extracted the love totem, and they've got all the other gauntlets, and the last gauntlet is the one that Alex is holding right here. Let's move on. So the next photo shows Esme back with Alex and Kelly, and so they're obviously fully suited up because they're ready for battle just in case Nixley and Lex pull something on them, which more likely than not, they're probably going to do knowing them. However, they are not alone. You can see in this photo, we've got Nia and Lena even shows up in the field. And from what we've seen, Lena actually is using magic in this scene and she's actually thrown under some rubble that was behind the scenes photos. Obviously in the trailer as well, you saw some sort of gunfight around this rubble. So definitely something goes down after they get Esme back and Lex and Nixley rain hell on them or maybe Team Supergirl does something to try and get the totems back despite giving them to them. So we'll have to wait and see what's the actual cause of that. But here we have a photo of Melissa as Supergirl fully suited up. This is in the fortress and it cuts to another photo that is basically just from another angle. You can see the whole team. This is right after where we left off last episode because they are fully dressed up in the gear that they were wearing during the Bachelorette party in the bar. Apart from Jean and Supergirl, but they're able to dress really quickly unlike everyone else who would have to take a lot of time to switch. So that's why you see all of them looking like this. Okay, so the final couple of photos of this episode we have Lex out here, and this is outside during those same scenes. He's wearing one of the gauntlets, and it seems like he's up to something. You can just tell by his face. And we have another photo of Kara and Alex, and they're standing outside talking to each other, presumably before all of this goes down, because it looks like they're being quite civil, and like they're not scared about like Lex or Nixley coming behind them. The last couple of photos for the episode show Lex inside his lair, and obviously this is him doing chess. I mean, it's a very Lex Luthor thing to do. I mean, this is a very kind of swanky chess set, it looks like. Nevertheless, it's just emblematic of his plans. And the final photo of the episode is very interesting because we have Lena here in the tower, but she's not with a normal Team Supergirl member, no. In fact, she's here with Andrea, who is fully suited up in her Akrata gear. Obviously, she doesn't really do much as a Krata, especially this season. She's suited up a total of two times, and she's only stolen information that literally got William killed in the previous episode. So literally, she's done nothing. She is not a hero. She just has a costume, and she uses it occasionally. But somehow, she's found the tower. Now, I'm not sure if this is Lena who guided her here and said, Hey, come here. We're in trouble. We need you. I know you have some powers and whatnot, so come in your full gear. That remains to be seen, but it's just interesting that Lena would, you know, open up because this is someone who's literally in trying to get information about the Super Friends completely adamantly and crossing a line even to risk her own employees. Like, I mean, William's dead, guys. Literally, it's her fault. So, I don't know why she's here, but it seems like she's going to be presumably helping out with Team Supergirl, which we cut to the next episode, episode 20, these are the next photos, and in fact we do have her here as well, Andrea is here with Lena, 
fully suited up in the street and they are going up against Lex and Nixley for the big final battle but they are not alone in fact they are joined by so many people look we got this photo this wide shot of the whole team of new heroes and olds from left to right we have Guardian we have the new Guardian we have Sentinel, Monel, aka Valor, we have Jean Jones, aka Martian Manhunter, Supergirl, Wynn, Nia, Brainy, and then Akrata, and also Lena on the side. And just in the background, if you guys can tell, the unlikely ally in this episode is in fact Mitch. Mitch is back there with Eliza, Kara and Alex's mom. He's seemingly switched sides and so that's why he is on their side. Anyway, let's move on to some close-ups of the people on the team. So we have Guardian here, we have Kelly, and also Alex and Jean is in the background. They're looking really badass. But we got the return of Windshot, played by Jeremy Jordan. Super excited to see Win back. Obviously a original Team Supergirl member back from Season 1, Episode 1. And he is here suited up in his superhero costume. Obviously, this was introduced like a couple of seasons ago. And in fact, he's been, you know, in the future with the Legion of Superheroes. So he probably wears it a lot in the future as well. And Nia is here with Brainy. And they're looking cool. And it should be noted that Brainy in all of these photos is green. So recently, it seems like he's just sticking with the green. And he's happy with who he is. Which is cool to see. We get this cool photo here of half of the team. Front and center is Supergirl and Monel, played by Chris Wood. It's so great to see Monel back. He's going to be back from the future. He's going to be kicking ass with Supergirl. I can't specifically wait for those two to interact because we are still speculating about how Supergirl is going to end. Are they going to get back together? Is Caramel going to be a thing in the future? Is she going to go to the 31st century with Monel after this episode? We'll have to wait and see, but he's looking cool here. Melissa's looking cool as Supergirl and obviously the rest of the team in the background. It's a cool team up photo. Okay, so we've got a singular photo, a portrait of Melissa as Supergirl out on the streets. So again, like I said, most of these photos are of the same scene, just from different angles. And, you know, throughout the fight, there's rubble being thrown around, hitting different cars. Like you can see in the street right here, there's a bunch of rubble in the background with a bunch of the extras just standing there. And in the foreground, we have the return of James Olsen, aka Guardian, played by Macab Brooks. So great to see him, especially seeing him suiting up with Kelly, played by Azzy, of course. And it's just great to see the two Guardians side by side. I think their suits look awesome. Okay, let's move on. Great, great photo here. Okay, now maybe this video is just me, like, talking about how cool the photos are. But it just gets me so excited for this episode, and I'm sure it's getting you guys excited. So we have here Monel fully suited up in his Valor suit, teaming up with Supergo, and it seems like it's just those two at this point. I don't know if they specifically did this just for a photo, or was this during the scene? Like, do the rest of the team get like flung away and hit by Lex and Nixley, and it's say like their last stand, and it's just Kara and Monel fighting? That would be cool. Let's move on. Okay, now this is a different scene. This is at the wedding, so the final photos are mainly from the wedding. There's also one photo from the funeral, which we'll get to in a minute, but we've got Kara and Wynn up here doing speeches, it seems like. Or there is a slight chance maybe they will start singing, because it does look like a kind of singing position. They're definitely up on the stage, you can tell that for sure with the mics and the way that everything is positioned. So nevertheless, it's going to be great. I can't wait to see those two up there. Obviously, Wynn is an old friend of Alex's as well. And I think it's very fitting that they all return for the wedding. Although it should be pointed out that Mono actually isn't in any of the wedding photos. So I don't know if they just didn't take any photos of him or maybe he went back to the future already. Could be. Maybe that's a sign that maybe Supergirl isn't going to the future. Or maybe she was like, yeah, I'll join you after the wedding. Okay, let's move on to the next photo. We've got Esme really smiling, looking very happy for her new mama mum. Also in this photo, Eliza is here kissing Esme. Obviously, they're meeting for the very first time, it seems, and it's great to see Eliza back. Should be noted that she has grey hair in this photo, so I don't know if this was like a random thing that occurs in the episode or 
is it a thing that she just didn't dye her hair anymore and she's just going with her natural grey hair which looks very great might I say okay let's move on we've got the funeral photo here this is them dressed in black Monel is in the background Wen is in the background Kara is in the foreground and obviously this is William's funeral because he was killed last episode and it seems they probably won't have the funeral straight away they'll be dealing with Lex and Nixie first and then later at the end of episode 19 they'll have the funeral and that's and it's at that point where you will see the return of people like Wynne, Monel and James. Kara is talking to Lena at the wedding again Lena looks really kind of goffed up she looks pretty damn cool I don't know what they're talking about but I presume it's just you know some closing words for the specific friends talking to the friends as you know this is the series finale so they have to wrap stuff up so expect most of the conversations to be kind of closing sentiments for the characters especially talking to each other and their dynamics but also for us as well so we get this cool photo Nia is super happy I think she is one of the bridesmaids and so that's why she's got the flowers and everything we got this cool photo seems like this is after the actual wedding goes on and you know the speakers everywhere again Jean is at the mic he's I believe supposed to be like the father figure of Alex but it looks like they're having a whole bunch of fun here with Esme so actually during the wedding it seems like Jean is the initiator as Kelly and Alex smile to each other before they say I do okay so moving back inside we got the return of James James is here with Kelly it's great to see seems like they are talking and maybe she's showing her dress for the first time and Kara and Alex look really happy together obviously this is probably in the aftermath of the wedding or maybe just leading up to it anyway they're both really excited you can see by the smiles on their face but on the flip side we have the two villains who are going to be defeated this episode again I don't know if they're gonna be sent to prison I don't know if they're gonna be killed I don't know what's gonna happen to them nevertheless they're gonna be defeated nevertheless this is definitely in that final showdown and so they're gonna be two against many many people so it's gonna be hard for them to win and that's why I don't think they're gonna win okay so outside in the garden just after the wedding Kara is sitting outside we've got this really cool photos great sunlight on the face along with Kara obviously here with James and Wynn and they're just sitting down having a good time and having a chat probably reminiscing about the past Okay, so we got this cool photo. This is, you know, a reaction to them actually being officially married. And again, another reaction. We've got Kara and her mom. Obviously, Eliza's very happy for Alex. And Kelly looks over the moon in this photo as Jean smiles and Alex smiles. And you can even see Lena and Wynn in the background all smiling. So it's going to be a very kind of cute moment. I think fans are going to be excited. It's finally happening. So we have a bunch more photos. Again, you can see Alex here with Jean, and we've got also the final photo, Kelly walking down the aisle with James, ready to marry Alex. So what do you guys think about all of this? I am so excited for this episode and for episode 19 as well. They are a big combined episode. You're going to have the final showdown, but also you're going to have the wedding as well as the funeral. So lots of things are going to be happening. Obviously, we're leading up to the big end where we're going to find out what is going to happen to Supergirl and where is she going to go. Those are some of the things that is going to be happening in the series finale. And just before we end this video, I want to say thank you to all of you who have watched my Supergirl videos over the years. Obviously, we're heading into the final stages of Supergirl. We're going to be reviewing it, maybe do a couple more videos before the episode actually comes out. But we will try and do more Supergirl videos after it ends. I have a planned reaction series to do. If you guys are interested in seeing me re-watch Supergirl, let me know because I'll be doing that series, I think, anyway. But obviously we got Supergirl in the DCEU, so we'll be talking about that a lot. So again, you're not going to lose out on Supergirl content. Also, we're going to make Superman and Lois videos because it is a Supergirl spin-off at the end of the day. So, thank you guys so much for watching over the years, and for now, please be sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. It really does help out. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.